My name is Ray Wynn Grant, and I'm a large carnivore ecologist and a National Geographic explorer. I try to study the behavioral differences of wild animals. Right now I study bears in very um, pristine natural areas and then at the interface that we call the human wildland interface where people and animals overlap. I am a part of a team of scientists all over the world trying to save endangered species from extinction. And I'm inspired every day because I do have opportunities to see when it's working. Bald eagles were on the verge of extinction and now they're back in full force. Black bears were on the verge of extinction and now they're quite abundant. They have been taken off the endangered species list. So it's successes like that that continue to inspire me every day. I discovered large carnivore ecology when I first discovered my love for the outdoors and for wild animals. I was born in an urban center and I loved watching TV, in particular nature shows. I wanted to do exactly what those nature show hosts did. However, I didn't necessarily see myself represented in that, right? I was so different from those TV hosts that I saw. I went to school, I got off track, started being pre-med, decided that wasn't for me stumbled into environmental science and I was doing a study abroad program which took me all the way to southern Kenya and it captured me and in particular the big cats captured me so the lions the leopards the cheetahs were what I loved the most and I talked to my professors out there who said well those are all the large carnivores and I said done I want to study the ecology of large carnivores for work I often feel like I have a double life and so it's either a field day or an office day so a typical day in the field is really intense, but pretty routine. Waking up at 6 a.m. with the sunlight, finding my animals, monitoring them, observing their behavior, making a little fire, cooking a little dinner, and then bed when the sun sets and there's no more light around 6 or 7. Office days are also exciting in a very different way because that's when I'm usually doing data analysis. So all the data that I'm collecting in the field, I bring back put it into spreadsheets, open a statistical software, and I can actually turn a lot of those numbers into maps, really colorful maps that can show what animals are doing on a landscape and really speak to all kinds of people. The best piece of advice I've ever gotten that I really internalized is that there are no rules. And for me, I applied that message to my career path. I, for a long time, struggled with how do I get to a certain place and what choices do I need to make and do I need to always take a traditional route? And realizing that there really are no rules to this thing called life, and in particular, non-traditional careers, has really helped me. And that's something that I hope all kids can really learn.